Well, I'm going to be Dear, good evening and congratulations. Okay. I'm here, I'm waiting for you. So, hi, hi. two sets of emotions tonight. First, that you didn't win, and then the emotion that you discovered you had won. So can you describe the two emotions, the first time when you thought you'd lost, and then the second time when you discovered you'd actually won? Actually, the two emotions that I'm feeling right now is uh, joy that I won, but also concern for Ariadna. And um, that's why uh, it was a little bit of uh, confusion for me. I didn't know exactly how to express myself on stage because those were the two emotions that I was feeling at that time. Shiba. Shiba. Hi, Pia. Hi. This Hello. is Trina Soledad from Del Am Star News. Congratulations. Thank you. After 43 years, we finally did it. <laughs> so, um, congratulations. Thank you. you made us really proud. So, um, my, my question is I know um, you tried three times to okay. win the Bidibidi Pilipinas Universe, and finally, you're in Miss Universe, and finally, you're the winner of Miss. Can you even like, absorb that right now? <laughs> Um, no, actually, it's still um, everything's still um, sinking in. Um, I I actually asked for a mirror backstage because I wanted to see it for myself. I mean, it's it's a different feeling having the crown on my head, but then actually seeing myself in the mirror wearing it, then that's 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 um that's when I know that it actually happened. So uh, it's surreal. I can't wait to share my victory with my family and my friends and my fellow countrymen. Well, congratulations, you really made us proud. So, Babuhay um, Pilipinas! Babuhay Pilipinas! Maraming salamat po! Hi, Pia. Congratulations, you got your happy ending tonight. Oh, well, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Um, I'm curious to know what was going through your head uh, when you heard uh, Harp Steve announce Miss Colombia as the winner. And after that, uh, second question, did you feel vindicated that you actually won the title? Thank you. I, I was pretty confident in going to the pageant and I know that I did well in all aspects of uh, the pageant. Um, I know that I gave a pretty good performance and a good answer. So I was very confident with my performance and I thought that um, I was also deserving to, I was deserving to win the crown. So when I was announced as the first runner-up, of course I congratulated uh, Miss Colombia, and then I went, um, I exited, and I joined Miss Olivia Jordan as uh, the second runner-up. So, and, but when they announced that they made a mistake with the the announcement of winner, then that's when I got a little bit confused. I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. I did not expect that at all. I mean, I, I, you can see it from my reaction. I, I didn't know whether to go um, in front of the stage, so I was a little bit hesitant as well because I did not want to... Uh, I wasn't sure if the announcement, announcement was finally right, so I was waiting for cues from the floor director, and then all... I looked back and then the girls behind me were saying, um, go, go, go in front, like that. So that's when I walked to the front of the stage and I was just waiting for um, my crowning moment, basically. So I, uh, I was very confused and I do apologize for what happened. Oh, Pia, um, I know that in one of your interview before, uh, because everything can happen in this world, you say that faith, when it comes to faith, uh, anything can happen, but when it's your destiny, it's your destiny. Did it come up to your mind at the time that, you know, uh, when you were crowned Miss Universe, no matter what in this world, when it's your destiny, it's your destiny? Yeah, I definitely still believe that. Um, even before they announced my, the winners, I, al I was already thinking to myself that whatever happens with me tonight, whoever is going to be announced as the winner, that's their destiny and I shouldn't feel bad about it. I know that I gave a very good performance and whatever placement I get is something that's fake. So, but then I won and as I've said before that if you're announced as the winner, don't doubt it because it's your destiny and I'm trying to apply that with myself as well. Okay, uh, hi uh, Miss Universe. 
Yes. Um, but there's Negative there's there's Thank well. you. Well, it's the, you're starting a very controversial year because a lot of Latin things that you take away, you took away the crown of a Latin girl. What can you say about all the millions of Latins that at this moment that doesn't look at you as a missionary? I would like to apologize because I was also very confused with what happened. I hope they understand that none of this was my fault. I was also, just like Miss Colombia, a candidate in Miss Universe and the announcement of winners was, uh, they made a mistake with the announcement of winners. I, um, I spoke to Mr. Steve Harvey um, just a few minutes ago and he um, expressed his uh, apologies. I tried to approach her um, on stage, but there was a crowd of girls with her and there was also a crowd of girls with me. She was crying. I tried to approach her, but um, I was very close to her already. And I was thinking, this is probably bad timing. So I'm going to see how she's doing, give her a bit of time, and then see how she's doing. But I'd like to express my... Um, uh, I'm sorry for what happened. Even I did not expect this. I'm just... Like, like her, I also want to win. So, with what happened, again, I'm very sorry. I did not take the crown from her. Um, and uh, I, I, I wish her well in whatever she, she wants to uh, pursue after, after this pageant. And that's it. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Joanne Mina from Colombian Press. Uh, it's clear that you are Miss Universe. Congratulations! And of course, everything was a mistake and very controversial. You know, it's very touching for all Latin people. My question is: Okay, in the next year, you as a Miss Universe, uh, you have to go to all over the world making a lot of stuff, especially in Latin American countries. And of course, um, all of us, or many people in this part of the planet, will re remember this this moment and all this issue. So how uh, you will handle this situation in every country you will visit? Um, I'll try to convince them that uh, none of this was my fault. I hope that there's, they still support the Miss Universe organization. Although there was a little bit of a mishap with the announcement of winners, I don't think it should affect on how they view Miss Universe. It shouldn't affect um, their support yearly at all on Miss Universe. Miss Universe is a fair organization, and that, that was just an honest human mistake, and I hope that it doesn't affect me with my relationship with them, and our relationship with the organization, with them as well. Hello, congratulations, I'm from Via TV. My question for you is, would you be the voice of uh, bringing peace to the South China Sea to protect Filipino and Vietnamese territories and protect our fishermen from being attacked. How will I, would you be the voice for bringing, for bringing uh, the peace to the South China Sea to protect Filipino territories and um, Vietnamese um, and Filipino fishermen from being attacked on the sea? With this issue, um, I have to be very careful because I wouldn't want to offend anybody, especially now that they're still trying to uh, fix the problem and the, the issue is still ongoing. So I wouldn't want to get involved and upset anybody. All I can do is show my support and make people aware with what's going on and then the people can decide on what they think is right and wrong. Um, from what I think, um, there should be there should, shouldn't be anybody getting hurt in this, um, whether it's because of the Philippines or because of China. I don't think that um, it should affect my relationship with the country or the relationship or the organization with the country. Thank you. Ian, uh, Kim Persoldi, I'd be curious, uh, why do you feel the need to apologize? You apologize a few times now for what happened. And two, what did you think of Steve Harvey's explanation? Mm -hmm. Well, because I was also very confused, and like you, and I represent the organization now, so I am the voice of the organization. That's why I felt that it was only right that I take this opportunity to say sorry. 
And also, when I spoke to Mr. Steve Harvey, uh, Harvey uh, just a few minutes ago, he was uh, he apologized for what happened, and he said that I was the the winner, and that I should just enjoy my moment, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Thank you. We have one question right here. We have time for two more questions. My name is Luis De Leon from Reportero Las Vegas. You've been Congratulations, first of all, and uh, second of all is that you've been doing uh, damage control. How will you, or what are your expectations now that you are Miss Universal? What are your expectations after all this damage control? Well, I hope that it fixes the relationship of the Latino community with Miss Universe. I hope it doesn't affect their relationship or how they view Filipinos, I hope it doesn't go that far because it shouldn't. Um, I, I hope that, uh, that's why as early as now I'm trying to fix everything because well, I, have the, I have the voice now to do that and I hope that people listen and they believe that none of this was um, done on purpose. It was an honest mistake and then that we don't mean any harm. Last question right here. Hi, congratulations. I'm Brad Bird from Manila Mail Newspaper, San Francisco. You're turning out to be the most controversial winner of the pageant, and your final Q&A is also very controversial. What can you say about the fellow countrymen that are very much opposed in bringing the U.S. bases back to the Philippines? What can you say about your fellow countrymen that are very much opposed oh, to bringing the U.S. bases in the Philippines back? Well, um, they might have a very good reason for that, that I have to check, and I'll get back with you. But from what I think, um, so far from what I know, nothing, nothing big or nothing harmful has been going on with their um, presence in the Philippines. We've always been very open to them. We have a very good ties with uh, the United States, with America. And as long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't see anything wrong with that. Although, with what you said, that some people are opposed to it, I'll have to check on that, see what their views are, and then um, make my personal opinion from them. Thank you. And one, Pia, yes. right here, one final, final question. Hi, congratulations, Maria, with the strip live. You know what? Congratulations to you. I want to bring. I want to end this with a very positive note. What are you going to do to celebrate? 